Right, here I am. Yeah, Lynx, uh, but not Suffolk Triumph. No, here at Halston. Yeah, marvellous shop. Uh, all sorts of stuff. Husqvarna, Gas Gas, um, Triumph, of course. And now CF Moto and KTM. Yeah. Oh, never been on uh, CF Moto, but look at this. This bike is under four grand. Yeah. Oh. Oh, there we go. You just push a button. Oh, look at the clock. Marvellous. Um, I'll tell you more about this when I get going. Let's just dodge these people, yeah? Wonderful. Get through here. And we're, we're off, yeah? Marvellous. Let's see if we can find a country road or two. Oh, it seems to go all right, doesn't it? This is a CF Moto 650 NK. And do you want to know how much this is? Yeah, £4,999. No, sorry, £3,999. Can you believe that? So we'll get down here. I don't know quite where I'm going, so you'll have to bear with me. Yeah, because I want to get out the back roads and I think this is possibly the best way. I don't know. But let's get down here. Um, yeah, so what is it? Well, you've got a uh, Game Boy Dash, proper Game Boy Dash, but it's round in the middle, as I like, which is marvellous, isn't it? Um, Mickey Mouse mirrors that are a bit like Spock ears. Yeah, <laughs> isn't that wonderful? Um, nice shape, low seat height, it's about 780, so my mate Dave could definitely get on one up oh, down to 30 and we'll do a left here Mitfield that sounds good Halesworth used to live near Halesworth little known fact yeah so power uh, 60 brake horsepower, yeah, 60 brake horsepower, that's not bad, is it? Um, 57 newton metres of torque, something like that, might be 56. Don't shoot me if I'm wrong. Uh, but it seems all just marvellous. Uh, 206 kilos as well, which <sighs> means it's pretty lightweight. It's got plenty of petrol in this which is marvellous uh, suspension pretty basic conventional forks yeah I don't know where I'm going so I'm going down here yeah marvellous let's have a look oh that's nice isn't it so what I'll do is I'll see if I can find somewhere to have a nice walk round um, but so far it seems to go well enough suspensions slightly firm yeah suspension slightly firm but pff, it's a brand new bike it'll probably soften up with time uh, handling seems just dinky but we'll find out as we get going this one's in like white and black So I don't know whether it's got ride-by-wire or it's cable. Looks like it's cable to me. Yeah. Engine sounds pretty sweet. I think they're based on the Kawasaki 650 engine. I might be wrong. But I think it's something like that. So low speed handling is just as you would imagine. Seems absolutely fine. Um, what I really wanted to try was the MT650. They're only four and a half thousand pounds. Yeah, oh, for uh, a 650 touring bike. That's just wonderful, isn't it? So at low speed, fifth, look at that, no problem at all. Um, but you wouldn't expect it. I mean, after all, it is a 650, isn't it? Uh, what everybody's interested to know though is what their new 450 
uh, NT is is like, but they, they haven't got them yet, and they're real competitor for the Himalayan. But this is it's a Space Invader style bike. Um, what I'll do is I'll bring you back when I get back out in the country roads. Yeah, right, and we're off into the national speed limit. So just winding it back from fifth. And we're there, just so simple. So at 60, this little baby's just cruising, isn't it? There's nothing for it. Uh, got all sorts of information on the DAC. Uh, but we don't need all of that, do we? Brakes seem absolutely fine. And a, a nice steady pace. Handling's excellent. Uh, this is uh, Fressingfield. Very nice little village. Yeah, lovely. But what an easy little bike to ride. So I don't know what tyres this has got on it. Um, but one of the problems that we have with all bikes is the speed limit. Uh, 40 miles an hour. Yeah. So most things can cope with that, can't they? Handle well enough, brakes, tyres. You shouldn't really be getting in trouble at 40. <laughs> so while we sat at these traffic lights uh, on the dash um, you've got a gear indicator of course your fuel uh, engine temperature uh, miles per gallon don't know what that is IFE means something and uh, uh, your mileage, yeah, and the time. Um, but you don't need no more than that. I don't even know if we're in a 30 year or not. Uh, but the gearbox is dead easy, the cl clutch is really light. went into there a bit steep, I wasn't expecting that bend. <laughs> it's a problem with roads you don't know. Um, so what I'm going to do now, I'm going to look for somewhere to do a walk round. Yeah, so I'll catch you then. Here we are in the Suffolk, Norfolk borders, countryside. I don't know whether I'm in Norfolk or Suffolk. There was no passport check or anything. So, I don't know. But there you go. What do you reckon? I mean, look at those wheels. Yeah. Uh, be seen at night with us. Twin disc on the front. Incredible. Remember, this is £3,999. Yeah, some of you are going to say straight away, it looks like a bug, and it does. But <laughs> if, if you don't mind that, you know, as some would say, it's quite sporty looking. Um, and I'd agree with them. Uh, the tank holds 17 litres or 17 and a half litres. That engine uh, produces 60 brake horsepower and 56 newton meters of torque. Yeah, single disc on the back, mono shock, uh, it, and you can see it is a bit similar to an ER Kawasaki 650, isn't it? Um, the seat feels really comfy, uh, and it's only 780 millimeters so my mate david have no trouble getting on there at all uh the clock 
is a little bit difficult to see in the sunlight so I'll turn it on you can see there you go doesn't look so bad there but that's because I'm in the shade but you move my head away and you can see it's a little bit difficult to see um, but that's a small thing I think when you're paying this sort of money controls here for your dash don't know what they do um, obviously for scrolling through things um, everything else pretty basic uh, on the start push the button down yeah uh, absolutely fine mirrors good to see out of clutch light as a feather gearbox no trouble at all uh, getting into neutral dead easy it's just a simple bike to ride uh, a very basic price I like that so I'm going to get back on and we'll do the uh, do the census test I reckon yeah but there you go CF Moto 650 NK marvellous right oh. oh isn't it lovely this countryside eh oh, it's a day to be where you're glad to be alive just look at it marvellous on a wonderful little bike and it makes me happy to think that this is under four thousand pounds i know crazy ignition on brrr, ding there we go fire it up and we're off yeah into gear and there we go it doesn't sound bad either does it but we'll get onto that as we do the census test so here we go if i can find my way back Oh, it's just lovely. I've got my visor up, but I better close it. Um, yeah. Uh, oh, what I'll do is, I'll wait until I get a bit slower, because um, it's easier to talk with, with less wind noise. Right, so oh, here we are into a 40. Um, so the senses, yeah, uh, uh, and taste. Well, this for me is you know, in uh, Bassett's all sorts, yeah, I've gone out there and named it Bassett's, yeah, licorice all sorts. Um, those sandwich ones with the white and the black and the yellow, it'd be one of those, of course, yeah marvellous um, uh, sweet and a little bit chewy from the licorice that's what this would be yeah marvellous um, and smell oh, it's a brand new bike I can't smell no oil no water no petrol nothing like that so that's got to be a good thing hasn't it yeah uh, then what we got to look at well it's not everybody's cup of tea no but it's not dissimilar from a lot of japanese bikes is it or even some triumphs some bigger triumphs and let's forget this is a 650 yeah it's not it's not a 350 or 400 or even a 500 it's a 650 and its performance might not set the world on fire but it's all right for a blast round the country lanes yeah and I'll tell you what else I like about it is you can stick it in six gear and just about ride at any speed you want yeah uh, so if you're a lazy rider it'll do you yeah um, and then what have we got uh, to touch and feel well it feels just fine i can tell you three thousand nine hundred and ninety nine pounds um, makes it feel even better yeah i can't see i mean there's obviously things like those stickers the screen is a bit difficult to read in this light in the bright sunshine reflects off it but little things like that but poor naughty boy but as a general all-round bike it's absolutely fine yeah um, 
then what have we got? Well, uh, sound. <laughs> well, I'll tell you, we'll talk about that when we get to the end of this road. Oh, we're going too fast. Yeah, it goes on a bit. <laughs> it's, it's really quite nice. And we're back to a 30. And there was a speed camera here not long ago. So, yeah, so sound. Sounds fine. Um, I suppose you could probably put a pipe on them um, and it would sound better, but I don't know, really. To me, it, it, fit, it sounds sporty and it seems to go really well. You can't say no more than that. How does it make me feel? Well, and I hate to keep saying this, but at £3,999, it makes me feel very, very happy. <laughs> no, I mean, if that's all you had and you could only ever have one bike, there'd be nothing wrong with this. You would have a hoot. You'd have a brilliant summer. Um, and it is cheaper than some holidays, isn't it? Let's be frank, some people pay a lot more than £3,999. There you go, I've said it again. Um, for a holiday. Uh, reliability? Well, I guess it'll be fine. Most motorbikes are just fine. Um, and the degree of marvellousness, um, of course, has always got to be taken into account as to the value of it. And for me, this is great value. Yeah. Am I still in a... I think I am. Yeah, I'm still in a 30. And this is the problem, isn't it? Yeah. We're stuck with those horrible speed limits. Or traffic, or potholes. the handling is okay it's not the best in the world but it's absolutely fine the suspension again is just fine um, I don't know whether it could be improved I don't know what it's like to get accessories for uh, but I'm sure someone will do stuff for it And as for them being Chinese, I watched a video on the factory and I mean it's quite incredible really. Yeah. Um, they've come on leaps and bounds over the last five years or so. Um, and they do produce bike bits for a lot of companies that we've no idea. Yeah. Anyway, what I'll do is, I'll bring you back. Um, I've got to give it back. I've had a little bit of a, a play with it, and I love it. For that money, I mean, crikey. What do you expect? If you come and you're disappointed on this, at that money, I mean, I don't know what to say to you, I really don't, because it is a bike, let's just stop it here a minute, into neutral, indicator off, side stand down, all without looking you'll notice, so it's all intuitive, but let's just have a little look at it, there you go, CF Moto 650NK, uh, just a marvellous bike and uh, even if it were more money it wouldn't be a bad bike here at Lynx yeah where to do hell and all bikes yeah ta-ta